Hey y'all, it's Dr. Tiffany. I hope you're doing well. And this is a measles update. There are several pieces of information. Hold on one second though. And here's your non-doomed cat, Audrey, to soften the blow. Okay, because this is alarming. Um, first, some science news, and then uh, where the uh, cases have cropped up uh, since my last update yesterday. And there are several new, there are a couple of new states added to the mix. Okay, first and foremost, um, came across a study courtesy of uh, Maiden of Mayhem, um, who is a good source of science information if you're looking for other creators to follow, um, that uh, there was uh, in uh, northern Italy uh, earlier this month, they found uh, several cases, I think five or six of measles that actually, uh, it was a variant. And measles doesn't normally have variants, but this variant was harder to detect by testing. So they didn't quantify how much harder, but they did say that it was found freely circulating in the population. Uh, it was like five or six out of like 600 cases. So apparently they've been having a pretty big outbreak there. Um, but uh, the last thing we really need is stealth measles, okay? Um, let's be honest about that. Um, and something that's harder to detect is a worrisome development um, also uh, for so many reasons that I'm sure you can put the pieces together. Okay, so now stateside stuff. This is the uh, list of uh, states that have been uh, found to have measles. It's a couple of days old. Not on there are Minnesota, Louisiana, and now we're adding Michigan. There's a case in Oakland County, um, a child that traveled abroad, uh, not, an, not a migrant, okay? Most of the people who are coming back from abroad with this are people who go to places like Europe and they get measles there, or Europe or Southeast Asia, as tourists and they come back with it. Why? Because of the insanely long incubation time, you know, one to two weeks. So, uh, but, um, and one particularly concerning one, um, there's a, uh, there was a, uh, well, first, there's a seventh case in Florida in that elementary school. It was traced back to that elementary school where they said, where well, everything's under control. You can send your kids there. Well, this was a child under five. I'm not sure if they were in like preschool or kindergarten or whatnot, or if they were a family member that uh, it was just brought home to, but it was a child under five that came down with measles. That's the seventh case in that outbreak. There will be more. So also concer a concerning outbreak is that in uh, Indiana, there was a new case uh, that was found uh, announced yesterday. And this person had sought care at three different Chicago hospitals in Illinois while highly symptomatic from February 11th through 16th. Now it does not say the name of the hospitals, otherwise I would have posted it behind me. These are the articles if you wanna look further. I think that's the one with the uh, scary case. That could have potentially exposed hundreds of people, and not to mention, the, you know, um, during the uh, other places that person had traveled during this time. So um, that is a highly concerning situation. This uh, situation continues to escalate rapidly, and there are a lot of. I'm going to be monitoring this day by day um, and uh, actually uh, amping up the coverage. I feel very strongly about this. Uh, this is a real public health threat. And uh, also it gets suppressed by the app. So if you can share it, I would appreciate it. We need this word to get out there. We need more people to know about this. This is a very big deal. I love you. Stay safe.